Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. The segment of the Cali Effect where the Royal Prophecy is given away. Yes, this is the giveaway. Um, but first and foremost, we're going to be talking about what decks can impact the meta. I am here with Mr. Leo Playstrong, and I am also here with Mr. Smuffin. We don't know what Smuffin means, but we're going to find out today. Um, let's start off, since World of Prophecy is here prophecies themselves. Very, very good. Extremely versatile. Um, there's a couple of different builds running around. As long as you play World of Prophecy, you can blow up your whole opponent's field. 2900 attack, meaning that there's no other monster in main board that's stronger than him in any competitive deck right now. I feel that World the Prophecies have the matchup against Mermels. I think that they're the deck to beat this format. I would like to disagree. Um... I just don't see World of Prophecy as the best card in the deck because it takes a lot more to get them out than it does to play the deck itself. Um, I just feel like you're wasting so much more resources just to get them out than it is to... Well, you got to think about the resources you're wasting. You're going Secrets into Masters. Masters copy Secrets. Summon Temperance. Temperance Effect. Special Summon World. Add two spellbooks back to hand. Reveal four if you want to and pull out the world. Like that... I mean, you, you do have a point. It is resources, but these resources you get right back. You only lose a monster, and when do we summon? What's per turn? No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Playstrong. You, you very you contributed to this conversation very much. So I'm missing my young uh, my young lad. I forget you, what it you're is. missing your young lad. Yes. Well, we're. My I'm, my side detective. <laughs> well, it does have a lot of potential, and just like uh, Mr. Samuffin said, that it does require some sort of a lag. It requires a certain setup. As you can hear from me, I said secrets to masters, masters and two Whoa, 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 whoa. You have no spellcaster on board. Temperance, you ass, Jack. You never said... You said go secrets to the masters, summon temperance, go in the world. Oh, no, 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 no. Then how would I add that. two spellbooks, you ass, Jax? How are you going to go Masters? You have no spellbooks. Oh, my God. Just forget it. Anyways, you guys are getting Strong. the point. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, Hyperion would be better Hi for like, Hyperion, Hyperion deck. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. that's what it can only call it. Yeah. I'm so, saying as a setup. It's so there's going to be a setup. There's going to be three. Um, agents, I feel, will do a little bit. They're... Easier to set up. Yeah. yeah They're easy to set up, and especially with Transmodify. I'll agree with yeah. you that. But um, are they Tier 1? I would say Tier 2. All right. Most. Tier 2 at most. Um, I personally, I, I pretty much, I'm, I'm really in agreement with you. They're extremely fa strong. They're fast. There's a couple of different versions. There's the, the Herald version that topped 16 or 32 or something like that. I think it was 32. I'm not sure. It topped. Yeah. In, in the very first YCS of this format. Um, then, they have a couple of other looks. They have a lot of different faces. So I'd probably go in agreement. Well, uh, I don't really think agents can top all that well. No. Come on. No. 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 Because don't worry, I'll wait, Mister Playshaw. Don't no worry, we got. Yeah, you you made a pretty good what, accusation. What's the best play agents can do? Arc Lord Christia. Really, Arclor Christia, really. Christia, so Arclor. so prophecies with the already twenty nine hundred beater with world on board. You have a point. You do have a point right there. But that's why they have other arsenals such as Gachi Gachi Kintetsu. They also have. Uh, I, I just world the field. Gachi Gachi has only one material left. Oh, that's all you need to get over world of prophecy. I have Star Hall, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. I have Baylor's hand. Sure, but didn't you just blow up the field? Did you just blow up the field? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I blow up the field. Mr. Playstrong for you. And then I go. And then I go Starhawk, Starhawk. Well, I mean, Secret to the Master. I guess I think I see what you're saying. And I actually have a spellcaster on board for Master. All right, sure, 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 sure. I don't. I, I can see what you're saying. Obviously, they're in two different leagues. Prophecy, and no doubt, is tier one if you ask me. And agents are still trying to climb to the top. I think at the very best, agents could be high tier two. Um, you really have to watch out for those transmodify fairies because summoning herald of perfection and just sitting on there and saying, "Go ahead with your spell books. Go ahead, always." That's pretty crucial. Yeah, go ahead. That's crucial. Yeah, what? You, what's up? Negate. Negate. Uh, Go ahead. Magdalene. Negate. Magdalene, Ma Magdalene. Yeah, Magdalene, yeah. the Magdalene. Okay, that's, that's nice. Magdalene, that's, Ma that's Magdalene, that's, that's, that's Magdalene, Magdalene for Magdalene. Yeah, okay. I sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. All right. we got the... Oh, oh, we sure, got that sure, sure. We got everything then, then, I, then, I go, then I go Tiramisu. All right, sure, whatever. Whatever. All right, all right. Well, let's, let's just... We're getting to this. <laughs> I think another deck that could top is Firefist. Firefist? Four, four axes, to be certain. Four axes, Firefist. Well, three axes basically got neutered by the list. I mean, <laughs> Rooster, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Spirit to one and Tenki to two, just like, 
Yeah, it got the mask. There's nothing really much else to do. Four axes probably is the only very viable option, unless you go 3.5 axes or three axes with triple trance modifies and a whole bunch of other techy. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of nasty. But you're saying Fire Fist Tier One? I think you're out of your fucking mind. And this is coming from a Fire Fist player that did the win a mat contest at Worlds. Fire at, when playing Fire Fist. If, 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 I, if I may interrupt you, I believe it is your fault that Spirit went to one. You believe it's my during well, during the win a mat. Uh-huh. Did you not literally destroy your opponents yeah, because can, of Spirit and well, Rooster and all that? Konami representatives were watching over that game too. So uh, they're like, "Oh, it's the Cali effect. We must watch him." I don't like know that about that. Know. I don't think I'm that favorite. I think I think they were watching the tournaments closely just to see what would happen. And I think what they got out of me was only they knew they knew my deck list. They knew I only ran two Spirit. So yeah, all the plays I was doing were only I, two I, Spirit. I did yeah, notice. Yeah. I did notice during each of your games, the judge was watching your game. The judge and the uh, uh, high representatives were coming. Yeah, I didn't see the high representative. I just I saw the judge. Oh, well, shit. Judge you weren't there all game. day. The judge was watching my game, a couple other games, but the, and the representative was there. I forgot her name. She was there and she was watching. But I hope it's not. Um, prophecies can't be tier one. Hell no. Like I was saying. Hell no. There's no way, shape, or form. You do have Cardinal. I'm sorry. Um, Car- Fire Fist can't be tier one. Hell no. Well, no way, shape, or form. You do have Cardinal, which basically says, fuck your graveyard and fuck your fucking knows. field. Basically, get over Draco sack and then hit the dragons that they do have, knowing that the opponent has no dragons in hand. Those are some nice synchros you wasted resources going into. Be yeah. a shame if they went back to the extra deck. Yeah, it'd be a shame with Cardinal. And then have Fire Formations to beef it up. So, yeah, I'll give them that. But it's a one-trick horse right now with Spirit at one. It's a one-trick horse. And Valor is very, very... It's starting to be very, very relevant, this format. Um, next, we're going to be talking about Mermel. And I believe Mermel can be tier one, hands down. Yes. Strong showings at YCS. Um, very good, very versatile. Uh, only loses to Maxi and Effect Valor. So... Oh, wait, actually, maybe not. Uh, Vanity, that's, Vanity's Emptiness? Vanity's Emptiness. There's a couple other cards. Vanity's Fiend. Vanity's Fiend. If they, if they sack it, D-Fissure. Oh, yeah, if they sack that one copy of D-Fissure. macro. Okay, fuck you guys, all right? There's a lot of answers to everything. Draw a lock. Okay, so last format. Last format, y'all wasn't talking about, ba- oh, Dragon ba- Rulers ba- are ba- good, ba- but ba- I'm going to go Emptiness and Imperial Iron Wool and Soul Drain and Mind Drain and then the deck will obviously, it takes more than just a couple cards and then I'm to sum- and knock then I'm a deck out of a team. I'm going to summon Kaiku. Call the Haunted Chris, yeah? Yeah. 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 No, look, no, it's TJ, we... No, that's... Muffin, no. Smuffin, no. 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 Secret <laughs> Agent Muffin. Stop it. Stop it. Your name is Secret Agent Agent Muffet, you're like, just stop it, just stop it. Anyways, they can be top tier. I really think they can be competitive, but as mentioned before, they do have a lot of flaws. They're more easier to hit um, with Maxi's Effect Veilers, Dimensional Fissure, Macro Cosmos, all that other random stuff, one of stuff. They can be hit. Um, just a very good deck, though. Overall, they did get second, so they're tier one right now, and I think they have the potential to hold on to that tier one status as long as Maxi and Veilers are. Seeing a decline in play. I don't know. Um, I would say that Evil Swarms would be a good deck to play this format. I tell um, you to go to hell. I would oh. too. You can go oh, to hell. So you got Mermails running around. We have Dragon Plants or Dragons or you, you, you want to know running around. You want to know oh. So I mean, Ophion is pretty good this format. I would recommend playing three just because it's just such. What about Key Beetle? Yeah, it's yeah, actually it's not even yeah. it's not even Ophion deck. It's, it's just stun anti meta Ophion Key Beetle deck. Yeah, with, with, with Dunder King Ryo. With, with, with <laughs> Donner King Kong, with Dunder King Ryo in there. Um, if you ask me, Ophion is only as good as the meta. You did state some great cards in the meta, but uh, the meta is ever so shifty. And with a lot of people running a lot of different stuff, I don't think Ophion can handle every single deck. There's a lot of decks that don't run level 5 or level 5 or higher monsters. They don't special summon out the deck. So Ophion obviously has a bad matchup to this. Namely being Fire Fist, which is one of the most horrible matchups against Ophion deck. Because they have almost all the answers in the form of their main deck to it. Um, just really... Really depends, very reliant on the meta. So I really couldn't say they're tier one. Highest would be mid tier two. I couldn't even put them high tier two. I wouldn't two. even say tier one. No. Well, say yeah. Probably 1.5 at max. 1.5? At at Shit, no. Max. Hell no. Hell no. And that's, that's coming no. December. Hell no. Tier, tier, mid tier two. So tier, 
two point two at most. <laughs> two point two. So we're getting we're getting the decimal yeah, now. Tier tier two point two at most. Do you want to go tier point two one point five? Shut up, Leo. <laughs> Just, no, just get that out of there. We're going to sure. talk about Monarchs now. Monarchs? Because I got an OZ Kai Sub World for $5. <laughs> Five doll hairs. Um, I think Monarchs are very relevant since they have Treeborn. Uh, and they're not being that much background now. They can't really fear stuff. They can't really fear much. They can go Kaius, and then they, you have a 2400 meter. And they can also go first turn lad. First turn lad, that's pretty important. Uh, first turn lad is amazing. I'll give you that. You go. Uh, you know. So Smuffin, you have something to say? The only thing I can see is Secret Agent. Agent. Smuffin? Uh, Vanny's Fiend. He's a no, damn secret agent. agent! What do you mean, Vanny's Emptiness? No, they play Vanny's Fiend, so I mean, I don't really see much, but uh, the only thing I would see is probably, like, defense or macro, and that's that one. Well, I actually have to disagree with this one. Don't get me wrong, I love Monarchs. Monarchs are probably one of my favorite decks, but, um... You lie. This is a back row heavy format, unfortunately. Oh, with Compulse at one, bottom was at one. What's left? I'm sorry, Phoenix Chain is still the card, right? I've Deep seen breakthrough Mirror skills Force. out the ass. Mirror Force and G Prisons are still at two. There's still a whole bunch of stuff. And not to mention all the stuff you said at one is still played. Bottomless is still played at one. So so you, you're gonna go first and log and set five back row go. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they can do, but who plays Loggy anymore? Nobody plays Dino Rabbits. That's a dead deck. But if you're talking about uh, the Masters of Set 5 back row go in general, it's going to be this deck right here. Gladiator Beast or the Masters, the perfect counters to Monarch Set 5 back row go type deck. Um, that 3000 attack Heraklinos is pretty rough to look at, especially when I have double chariot face down. If at worst I summon Lucari, set 3 back row, you attack a Wabaku. Effect a War Chariot. Effect a War Chariot. Guess what? Now I'm going to recycle these War Chariots back into my hand with Gladiator Vista Quest, and then I'm going to go into my Geyser's place for mass destruction. Heavy Storm's gone? Okay, I can set my hand and say go. Why? Because fuck you. I agree with him. You can go fuck yourself. That's exactly how you feel. Gladiator Beast can be tier one in this format, but it all depends on who pilots it and the right setups. They have all of the answers in form of monsters and traps in their main board. That is the most amazing thing you can ask for from a deck. So you're saying whoever, whoever pilots this plane... It really depends on who pilots the deck first, because you obviously can't have a scrub winning a YCS. He's not a scrub. So, so you're saying YCS. Smuffin can never top a YCS? Smuffin will never top a YCS. I won't. He won't make top. He won't say. He won't make top thousand. Oh okay. nah. Smuffin at the out of, out of five hundred players, he can't make top thousand. Muffin at the status that he is right now will probably top a thousand. He'll come in like nine hundred ninety nine point ninth place okay. out of out of five hundred players. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure, sure, sure. Um, Whatever. I don't know. I think Infernities could do it because they do spam out now. Uh -huh. they have, they're more reliable now because with that three barrier, oh, you activate War Chariot, I activate barrier. Oh, so, I okay. mean, and they do, basically, they are they are like Logia set five, but they spam out, then set, like, the five. Set, the sh yeah, they, they, they you, search out everything they need, and then they draw they draw the Archfiend top deck and search more. It's you have it's a never ending loop. You have a point. You have a point. Mr. Playstrong? I hate Infernities. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I love about Infernities is when they give me a hand out of Maxi. Because <laughs> then I can ban with their uh, monster and I'll be like, thank you for giving me this 16 size hand with Mermels. Mm, and that typically is game. That typically spells game for the Infernity player. They did get a couple of more tricks with... Um, Trans modify trans archfiend, I believe, or uh, what? It was an. It, it, I'm sorry, archfiend. it was an archfiend card. I'm sorry, they they got Actually, a lot of more. Two, they're playing two different archfiend yeah. cards. They play like a rare monster. That I don't. It's a level three that searches an archfiend when it mm -hmm. dies. Yeah, and then they play this field spell for the archfiend. Yeah, so they so, they got a couple other tricks yeah. in their deck. So basically, it because makes of that, the archfiend twenty three hundred. Oh, so, that's stupid. That's yeah, exactly. Stupid. 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 <laughs> they right. did. They became a little better. So I mean, yeah. you can't knock them out of the tier two status. But as far as tier one, Baylor and Maxi, like Mister Play Strong said, do exist. Baylor's and Maxis are amazing. No shit, Sherlock. All right, enough with the set five back. Let's go to a back rollless deck. Woo! Lights horns. Oh boy. Woo. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> uh, Judgment Dragon's already on board, sir. Alright, alright, Judgment Dragon's all right, on board. What do right. you have to say about it? 
Yeah. Lights turns are amazing. But Lumen at three. Now, if they put Charge at three, <laughs> if they yeah. put that will never happen. Mm, I'm sorry. That's I want that. that maybe maybe once that's maybe once in a blue color. Christmas <laughs> where where Jack Frost is handing out presents and, and a black Santa Claus and, and, and the Grinch is actually happy for once. Like Konami will say, we'll give you Charge back to two. Oh, okay. I mean, the, Grinch was, the Grinch was happy I, at the end of the movie. I, I'll so. take the Charge back to two. I, I can I can see that. But you do have a right. You have a point. They have answers in spells and traps in the form of monsters, being Celestia and Lila. Ryko. Ryko. And then they have uh, Arcus. They have Arcus to protect them from targeting effects. Saying pretty much any light storm player in all of the world can no longer be targeted. <laughs> Basically. Um, and then they have their boss monster in the form of a 3000 beater. Heavy Storm is banned, so they'll see a lot more back row, but that's fine. They have a lot of answers to it. The deck is just overall pretty good. I think the only flaw lies within uh, Light Sworn is the deck itself. The consistency issue. And the fact they can mill out. Yeah. That's the only downfall about yeah, it. Yeah, uh, so... I mean, macro and defense are limited to one, so that's yeah. even another plus on top of them. I mean, we do have back, we do have breaker skill though. You pay that thousand, we go breaker skill, field stays. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. it it does have its flaws. It does get killed by a lot. Maxi you, you, you know what? You know what Same I say to your? Uh, your you know what I say to your break the skill on my judgment dragon? Judgment dragon, pay a thousand. Monster incarnation, my other dragon dragon. Judgment dragon, judgment dragon. How come? How come you just don't? Use Zephro, bounce back the Judgment Dragon. And, and so then, I, <laughs> that's situational. What do I, I've already used Zephro's effects. I'm sorry, so you're you a fucking Light Sworn deck. You How play, did you, you not mail. have it in Graveyard? What did you, you use it for? What did you use it for? What exactly BLS? did you use? BLS. It? Okay. I went. Right, I went. Sure. I went Exa Beetle. I t- uh, tapped BLS. You went. Into- How do you know Exa Beetle? Why the Beetle needs two darts? You dumb. what? Oh. How did what light? You play two Zephyro? You play two Zephyro. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to know how I'm going to text I play the Seal of Oricalcos. Oh, sure, sure. Uh-huh. Anyways, anyways, let's get to a more consistent deck. Very full-on-fledged. We're going to go to Machine. That's all I'm going to call it. Because there's so many different variants. There's Girgia, there's Karakiri, there's Makina, there's Psychic Girgia, there's Psychic Karakiri, there's Psychic Gear well, what Makina, what there's but, Girgia Karakiri. But, I'm not done. But, there's Karakiri <laughs> Girgia, there's Karakiri Girgia Psychic Machine, <laughs> There's machine gear. Uh, what about Mega Phantomies? Mega Phantomies are machines. What about Mega Phantomies? They're machines. What about them? You said machine. Them. They suck, okay? But you said we're machine. talking about okay, the good look, version. Look, we're talking about the decent machine monsters, okay? I'm sorry, Mega Phantomies. You're not that great. Besides Tether Wolf and Blue Impala, which can be tacked, I guess, in machines because they're a machine, you're not amazing. I'm, I'm sorry. I wish you were. You seem like a great asset to the machines. But we're going to get on the machines that can be searched and summoned through Gear Game X are dominantly Earth and can really synergize with each other. This deck is really consistent. It synergizes with each other well. You can basically mash anything up together. It's your new form Master Mash deck. And with uh, Heavy Storm being banned, they only got so much better. Why? Because fuck you. That's what Machina yeah. Fortress is. I, I could have sworn second place regional winner Danielle Nunez like Machina or uh, Mecha Phantom Beast. What about her? Could have sworn she liked okay, it. Okay, what about her? Therefore, if a hot girl likes it, it's a good deck. I guess. Whatever. Anybody uh, else? I just think machines lose to the mirror force. So you spam out and then you get punished. Uh, and sometimes you do have to spam out, I'll give you that. But then there's the answers. I mean, you do have Draco Sack, you have Big Eye, oh, and yeah. they can go to them fairly easy. Yeah. You do have. Machine of Fortune. Yeah, and the back row really does. The, the absence of Heavy Storm does hurt them as well because back row is back, and you can't obviously spam out as much as you want to without risking going to a Heavy Storm or Deep Prison or something that'll cost you yeah. or something. Even just Deep Also, Prism. effect negation hurts too. Yeah. Like. Plates. Constellars. Huh. You mean huh. Constellars. Constellars. All right, sure. Machina would be like tier two. This would be like tier five. I hate this trash. But it gets there. Oddly enough, They're Pilates to bounce back. They're N7 to and bounce back. And then they go back. N7, and then they bounce back. Then they go Guy Charger and attack over your Raikou. First turn, Pleiades with four back row. It's like... First turn, Lagia with four back row. <laughs> it's going to say fuck you. And when you have these type of fuck you decks... They really don't. They really shouldn't exist. Fortunately for us, this isn't Dino Rabbit. It's inconsistent as hell. It needs that one last card to put this deck over the top. And Constellar just doesn't have it. Can Can you describe to me what kind of card they need? Uh, fucking Sheraton slash Sombrace type card. Something broke. So, so it would be a card where it's like, when this card is normal summon, you can search out any Constellar monster from your deck to your hand. Also, you gain one additional normal summon. 
Yeah, that's pretty broke. That sounds that sounds about up Konomi's alley when they want to push a deck up. Yeah. When so, they want to bring a deck from tier nothing to tier one plus. So you can just summon this monster. Add basically. You can add Polk. Go Polk. Summon something else. Then yeah, that oh, monster affects summon another. Yeah. 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 Shockmaster's banned. That's Konomi's logic. They'll allow you to do yeah, it. That's pretty. They're like, it. you can't go Shockmaster, so we're gonna allow you to do it. Mm -hmm. So that sounds like up Konomi's alley. Yeah. That you can't say it doesn't. When they want to put Constellers over the top. Um. But that's the biggest issue with Constellers. Until they get a card like that or some type of indirect support, they will forever be tier 2. I don't think they'll get anywhere higher. And they're barely hanging on to tier 2, if you ask me, due to these consistency issues. Um, just an, it's, a, it's an amazing deck when you do get to pull it off, though. I'll give you that. It's an amazing deck. You have Blighties, you have Omega, you have M7, you have so much support for it. It just needs that one card to make it important, to make it count. Uh, Mr. Slovin? I don't... I can't really see Konami coming out with another card to make him like that. But I do see him... They are... A, I see them as anti-meta with this format. More than anything, they are. Same as douche meta. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, all they do is just bounce their stuff, and then they just swing in. Um, yeah. They don't do much. Um, let's... I think another deck that needs something, at least, to make it at least somewhat good is Bujins. <laughs> Bujins oh can have God. God and won't be good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I could have sworn their other surname was War Gods. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Bujins can have... War God and Love God and still won't be good. I don't know what to tell you. Um, Shadow Spectre Bujins are decent. I'll give them the strongest Bujins you can see, and they're decent. I'll that should say something about the deck. They're not that good. They're they're they're, they're okay. You they're have, very inconsistent. They rely on Mo Yamato. I mean, so, let's make them. Of, this is the problem. Let's make them consistent. They rely on a mechanic that isn't used too much. They relying on battling. Monsters don't battle. If if I really want to avoid my monster battling your monster, I have outs to that. You, you have, have cards. Yeah, I have a, I have a plethora of outs. Yeah. And Mermels, I have infantry. I have Draco's hack. I have marks. I have. You can be big guy and be a jerk. For days, yes, I have outs for days. And then you can that. go into big guy and just be a jerk and take their only out. Yes, in prophecies, I have fate. And Machina, Gear Gear thing. I have Beret to switch your Bujin cards to defense. Like, exactly. What are you really gonna do? Like it it's, is, yeah. it's reliant on a battle on a mechanic that isn't that great, and that's why Bujins won't see a lot of. Or I think Bujins will be tier two maximum. Um, Konomi really is trying to set them up, though. I really think that Konomi really wanted them to be tier one because they hit all of the cards that will just completely nerf this deck: the defissures, the bottomless, the compulsive. They, they really tried trash. to make it this format, but. That's so trash. Don't think it's gonna happen in this format. Um, happen we still have Mermels and Dragon Plants. I don't think. I think Constellers can still be better than them. I think Constellers can be better than Bujins. I think Constellers will Hard. definitely give Bujins. I think they are better than Bujins now, or of course, but I think they'll give them that run for their money. Next, but not least, well, it's not last. So next up would be Mechum Final Beast Draco Sack Deck. If you guys don't remember it from the last format, we're talking about Dragon Rulers. Um, Dragon Rulers, Dragon Ruler Patch, Dragoonity Dragons, all that other crap. All one deck, we're going to consider that for right now. I think they are the top dog for now. I think I now. Think for now. For this YCS, for this time only, I think they are the top dog. Okay. The biggest reason why I don't see them tier 1 is because Valors and Maxis were not used at YCS Toronto as often as most players should be using them. The With them being back in and Kaikus coming in sideboard, I don't see uh, Dragon Roller Plants being anything like they used to be last format. You right. I you completely... Right. I I do agree with you, though, because the YCS Toronto was, I believe, the exact same day the new ban list came on, so no one was really no. expecting... It was the 31st. But well, the ban we it. knew the ban list, so probably like a yeah. week and a half before... But Konami but made it to where that YCS was yeah. the ban list. So it was, it was the fresh start. I understand what you're saying. It was a fresh start to the ban list. So no one was really suspecting Dragon was a Dragon Plants to really be the top dog. Yeah. But it might not be like that. I mean, it's still a possibility for it to be Tier 1. Um, don't get us wrong, it is an amazing deck. It is, it's the top dog for right now. But how long will it be the top dog? How long can it grasp onto that top dog status? I, I don't really think for that long. See yeah. how now people know that Dragon Woods and Dragon Plants are still a thing? They're already probably, they're probably already finding outs how to get rid of them. Yeah, and it's, yeah. it's a lot of outs this format that can't be stopped due to the traps and everything. Um, I will say that Black Wings probably could because they do have Key Beetle. Um, they do synchro a lot. They got the Armor Master. Mm -hmm. um, they maybe, maybe could go to Big Eye if they get two Armor Master, but I don't see it. Good I luck. don't see it. No, no. But um, it's just, overall, it is a very consistent deck, this format. Um, they do synchro a lot. They exceed a lot. They save themselves. 
Mr. Smuffin, you want to know what I think, secret agent? You really want to know what I think? No. Thinking they're a one-trick pony. I, I think they got lucky. They, they, I, got, I think they got extremely, the hype. extremely the hype. lucky. The hype. You're a one-trick pony. The only thing you need, the only thing you rely on is Kalut and Black Well, I guess you're a two-trick pony now. You rely on Kalut and Black World 1. Black World 1 to get your Kalut. So you're yeah. still a one-trick pony. Um, aside from that, there's so many outs to Black World 1, it's not even funny. As long as the monster doesn't get summoned properly, the monster has to be face-up for you to search with Whirlwind at the time of resolution. So you can summon your Black Wing, Book of Moon. No search. Yeah. I did that, and it's it's a couple other options, but Book of Moon is just one of them. As long as your monster isn't face up for Black War One to read the monster's effect, then you can't search. So let's take Black War One out of the question. Now you have your Kalu trick. Like I said about Bougians, you're so reliant on a mechanic that is so old. Nobody does this anymore. Exactly. Blow up your monsters and keep going with Mermels. Take your monsters and keep going with Dragons. Take your monsters or switch your monsters to defense and keep going with Machines. Put your monsters back to the deck and keep going with Fire Fist. It's too many outs for these type of mechanics. Like, it's just done for. Um, I don't think you're that good. Tier 2? Yes. Tier 1? Hell no. Get that shit out of here. I think another deck we should talk about that top Toronto was Dragoonities. Okay, we only had a Corsesca. We couldn't find any other Dragoonity cards. I don't even think they run this, just to let you know. Dragons do. But, yeah, let's get back to Dragoonities. I think Dragoonities are possibly... Or actually, really do have a viable in this format right now. I think they could be top... They are two or not by statistics by Toronto. Mm-hmm. And the fact that they have so many synchro plays, and I remember I was playing this Dragoonity deck last night on Death Pro. Mm -hmm. He went first and started his assault mode on me. Oh yeah, that that build is funny, but I can tell you an answer to these. This card, this deck. There's so many. Maxi, effect mailer, was not played Toronto. You gotta remember, was not played at Toronto because of Black Wings. The people thinking Black Wings are gonna be the deck, and that's what Maxi and effect mailer are about against Black Wings. But this deck. Maxi Effect Baylor completely destroys this deck. Why? Because, yeah, go into all your plays. I'm going to Maxi you. Oh, I'm liking this hand you gave me. Oh, I'm liking this hand. Okay, I'm going to choose to stop you. Effect Baylor where I want you to stop you. Now, since I have you frozen, let me do all my plays. If I'm playing Mermel, you better hope to God I don't ATK you. And that's, you better. That's very hard. You better hope I drew all my spells and traps. Which are like five. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then you had a whole bunch of like Megalo, 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 Elite, CSD, 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 title, 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 title. Like that. And like, then one random diva. Yeah, I mean, like something like you better hope that I do that. And even then, the plays are still outrageous with that. Yeah, like, that's just dumb. Yes, yeah, like that's still just dumb. So you really better hope that I get something like that after I maxi you and effect Veiler you. Yeah. So prone. This is probably the biggest deck prone to maxi and effect Veiler because all you have to do is stop one play. Play, and the decks just stand still yeah. until they can go again. Um, what I do want to talk about, though, is the decks that I hate completely. Completely. Nobody remembers this format. Shh, shh, shh. What? Uh, Moment of silence for Teledad format. Fuck you, Teledad format. <laughs> Anyways. So, Mr. Fact, I got a question for you. Back Fuck in, you. Back in Teledad format. Fuck you. Was it? Was Fuck it, you. Was it the Dark Ages of Yu-Gi-Oh? Fuck you. That's what I feel. I feel fuck you. I think it was. No, I feel fuck you. That's an age I will never go back to. Um, a lot of people actually say tell it that format take no skill. Uh, go to hell. Seriously. I really don't think so. It took no skill. Summoning Stardust Dragon, Colossal Fighter, and a Dark Arm in one turn is no skill. The mirror match, I guess you could always say any mirror match just takes skill, but that's a skillless format when there's only one deck dominating the whole the whole board. But you guys do have malicious at three, Plex Predator at two, a lot of dark targets. I think tell of that is Dark Arm Dragon deck or Destiny Hero deck is the reason why Stratos is banned and is the reason why Destiny or Diva, I'm sorry, Deep Sea Diva is at one because getting malicious to your graveyard is stupid easy. So going Diva Synchro for eight, Diva Synchro for eight, and Miracle Fusion for or following after giving you that pseudo teleport Dark Arm Dragon effect is just amazing. And I think that's the reason why they're going to one overall really good deck. Tier one, yeah, definitely. It's it's definitely tier one. I mean, I'm I don't even know what to tell you. I mean, I wasn't there, so I don't know how they really, like... I've never actually physically seen them play or anything. So I'm not going to, like, disagree or agree with you, because I don't actually know how they play. It's because you're a scrub. I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think Teledad can be viable in this format. Mm -hmm. One thing that did make Teledad amazing was three Solemn Judgments. Last time I checked, Solemn Judgment was banned. You're Last time right. I checked, Solemn Warnings at one. You're right. So how are you going to stop me with Marmos, destroying your monsters and possibility can you? You're right. You're right. Oh, right. Oh, my, Old Fion's also still a thing. You right. 
You right. You always right. Oh, I, I'm gonna call you Mr. Right. I noticed uh, you have three darks on field. You probably had dark on dragon again. Oh, this Ovion just says, fuck you. <laughs> okay. All right, you got a point right yeah. there. All right, you I got a point. Tell. You got a point. That, that says teleport dark. That does give teleport dark on the middle finger. But you also have to remember that they're very crafty. They have very versatile plays. They have a lot of synchro and XC plays that doesn't go over level 5. They have a lot of plays that can get over your Ophion, such as Phoenix Wing Blast, which they did tech to get militias out of their hand. They have an extensive draw power, an extension of search power, even without straddles. The deck is still there. I could have right. right. sworn Evil Storm has turned into uh, Ophion, Lockdown, Key, Biddle, oh, Thunder King, Ryo. Right. Yeah, whatever. Wait, you know what gets out of that? Yeah. Dark Wolves. Dirt Wolves? This trash out of me. No. But you go back down, and we sit there, and our only, your only choice is Grapha. What do you do? So I just screw you. That's what I do. You can't go Pnevic because it doesn't stop monster effects. You screw you. That's what I do. Nobody Dress, gives a fuck about it. Targeted. Dark Worlds are tier three. Okay. But Dark Worlds shouldn't there. even be in here. No, Dark Worlds shouldn't even be in here. Dark Worlds. Okay. It's so trash. I drop that Grapha. What do you do? If you what? If I drop that Grapha. What's what do you a Grapha? That bitch right there. Oh, this. Grapha, Dragon, Lord of Dark... How is it a dragon and still a fiend monster? That's exactly. That doesn't make any sense. Get this trash out of here. You know, I don't even want to see that. That's a bad card. Okay, what, what about the legendary Blue-Eyes White Dragon? Oh, my God. That nostalgia just hit in. Uh, an amazing card. I'll give you that. Blue-Eyes White Dragon is amazing. That's all. Especially with his um the Prophecy build... I've seen them do a lot of stuff like that. It's pretty dumb. The um, prophecy build is pretty... It's, it is very dumb, because they can go Maiden, then activate Wisdom, target Maiden, Maiden up that special blue eyes. You right. Attack. You right. And then if they want to, they can synchro into uh, their blue Azure eyes dragon. synchro. Azure yeah. Dragon. Yeah, that's just dumb. Um, if the blue eyes deck does become competitive, blue eyes will be the strongest monster in main door. Just like Konomi has always wanted it. Dude, what blue eyes to be competitive? Well, you know what I really feel about you guys, Konomi? Why not make Dark Magician competitive? What happened to Dark Magician? Like, blue eyes has been getting all this support over time. Huh? Where's my Dark Magician support? I will give you one thing. Prophecies can play, well, they could have played Dark Magician. Why would they play Dark they Magician? They could have. They could have. The but fine could have, and two. Yeah, the, well. the, the, yeah, like, I don't understand. Before, got Before, oh, I, no, shut, shut up, shut up, Muffin. Shut, shut up, up, Muffin. Secret Muffin. Agent Muffin. Yeah, damn Agent Muffin. Exactly. You know what I really think has a chance, but it's funny? I think Madolches are funny. Mainly because Madolches remind me... You remember that uncle that comes to your house every other other Christmas to see you? Madolches are like that with the format. Like, you will see them at a high-level event, one, and then they'll disappear for a whole couple of months, and then they'll be back on another high-level event. Hi, Uncle Tiramisu! You're back this format! Oh, you won that you top 16 this YCS? That's amazing! Next YCS, is Uncle Tiramisu there? Obviously not. Why? Because Tiramisu is some prick. Uh, hey man, I remember. I remember always seeing my uncle Richard on my birthday and Christmas. <laughs> really, that's how you feel? Yes, that's how you feel. In fact, I just remember I want to have an uncle Richard. Oh well, Uncle Tiramisu would only come on your birthday, and that's to take money from your birthday. <laughs> oh, is it to give it to Uncle Sam? Eat all your food. Sure, yeah. Eat uncle Sam food. Tiramisu is getting money from you, so he can pay Uncle Sam, so he can get the J days, so he can get what the. So he can still... They're bad! Uncle Sam, give it up. Stop playing spell books. So he can... Just forget it. Just forget it. What we're, last card is Six Samurais. And I threw them in there because Six Samurais like to play. Oh, Kelly Fick, you never give me any love. I want my Six Samurais to have mention. Duh, duh. And they've been crying, like... Trash. Okay. This is the stipulations. Six Samurai players. And you guys know who I'm talking to. If Six Samurais top... 32 and a YCS. I will consider them tier 3. Okay? Whoa, I will whoa, put them whoa, on that whoa, level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you trying to kill us? No, hold on. I, you're, I think you're being a bit, like a bit, bit too much, too generous to them. What? <laughs> tier 3. I don't, I, I think that, I think that they deserve that spot right there. Ta times that by 2. That's what I think they're at. Tier 6? Yes. <laughs> yeah. If you got, if 6 Samurais, I, I think they have no chance. We could be the laughing stock about how we're making fun of 6 Samurais because they're not a bad deck. I mean, I've um, seen worse. I'd rather on. play, I'd rather play 6 Samurais than Evils. I'm sorry. Would you, would you rather play 6 Samurais than Evils? Do you even know what they do? Yeah. Exactly. 
That, that's how you know you shouldn't play it. Mr. Smuffin knows what they do. Mr. Smuffin, who? Oh, God, Secret a- Agent Muffin knows what evils do. Exactly. Yeah, I know because, like too. because he talked 999.99675 in a 500 man YCS. That's exactly. exactly what he did. That sounds like something Smuffin would do. Man, um, as for the world of prophecy, uh, thingy, where, where's the world? All right. Yes, we are giving one away. We want to let you know, we want you guys to like this video. We want you to be subscribed to the Cali Effect. And we want to let you, we want to know from you what are the top four decks of this format. I really want to know what you guys are thinking. What do you think will be good and why? But thank you guys for watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Please like, comment, subscribe, but most of all, enjoy.